Hello and welcome to the 20th tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series and in this part we're going to be looking at setting the sprite scale. We'll be using the source code from the 12th tutorial, if you don't have it don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Similar to setting the sprite's rotation, you can set the sprite scale which scales it absolutely relative to its original scale which is 1. Hence applying this form of scale multiple times won't have any effect. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. And you set the X and Y scale, well, it's not just a uniform scale, so you can make it stretch more or squash more in the X and Y axis if you want. So to set the scale, you do sprite.set scale, and this takes either an SF vector 2F or two float variables. I'm going to use the SF vector 2F, and in here, we're just going to put 0 0.5 and 4. Actually, before we run it, let's just run it without the scale applied. So you can see what it looks like. This is what it looks like. And now let's apply the scale. And here we go. It has been squashed in the x-axis by a factor of 0 0.5, aka it's been halved. And it's been stretched in the y-axis by a factor of 4, aka it's 4 times the height now. So what we're going to do is just copy and paste this several times so you can see that it doesn't actually change if we apply it multiple times as you can see it's exactly the same and like I said this is absolute scaling which is essentially relative to its original scale not its current scale you can also get the scale of the sprite by doing sprite dot get scale this returns an sf vector 2f then you do dot x or y we're just going to do dot x std and line now if we just run this again as you can see it has printed out a value of 0 0.5 The, as we just mentioned, the get scale returns a SF vector to a variable. So you could assign it to a local variable of type SF vector to F and use the electron multiple times with less overhead instead of getting the scale constantly. There is also another method for scaling a sprite, which scales it relative to its current scale. Hence, this is useful for applying multiple scales. This will be covered in the next tutorial, though. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.